Hey, what's up everybody? Phil Limit Fishing here. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Hey, before we jump into this video, I want to say thank you for all the recent subscribers, all the viewers, and uh, all the likes and everything on, on all the videos that's been posted. I really appreciate it, man. It's pretty cool that people are actually watching some of this stuff and I'm getting some feedback and it uh, uh, seems like everybody's enjoying the new Nitro as much as I am. So, appreciate that. I'm going to keep them coming. Uh, hopefully, I can get some more fishing content for y'all. I've uh, been using the boat a lot, but we haven't been fishing much. It's been more so taking the kids out, running around, letting them swim, and, and do all that kind of fun stuff. So, nonetheless, it's all good, man. But uh, I'm going to cut, cut short on that and um, get straight to the point. Um, you can see what behind me, uh, i got a box there, what the whole video is about, is um, i got a speaker system finally installed uh, in this boat. And uh, got it off of eBay. It was about a hundred bucks, um, and it's the Boss uh, Marine Stereo Receiver, little amplifier, um, two six and a half inch speakers, and we got them installed discreetly. And I'll dive into that here in a minute. But uh, that was the whole deal uh, for me putting a, a sound system in my boat. Was um, I didn't want to drill more holes than I had to, and I didn't. You know, I like the look of the speakers that I've seen on some other boats, but uh, my whole deal was. Uh, just to, to have it discreetly, uh, you know, hidden, and um, I didn't want to take away from the boat because the boat's beautiful the way it is. Don't want to take any uh, value, you know, out of the boat from any potential buyers down the line, um, you know, cutting holes in the boat. So, nonetheless, um, we did the install. We did it in the garage. It took several hours. I, you know, had all the uh, electrical connections and all that stuff ready to go. It was hot in here. It was kind of a struggle, but it wasn't too bad, to be honest. Um, now that I've done it once, you can probably fly right through it. Uh, but the end result, man, beautiful. I can lean over here, and you can hear. We got tunes, man. We got tunes. I'm going to show you guys how I mounted the speakers real quick, uh, where my receiver is, and, um, you know, tell you basically how I feel about the whole system and everything so let's dive into that we got jams though man we got jams All right, so that's it, man. You can see where I mounted it. I decided to mount it right here, um, basically where the little 12 volt adapter is. Seemed like the best spot to put it, to be honest, um, since you know I didn't want to put it on the dash. I didn't want to put it on the side of the console. It's right there. It's handy. I can just lean over when I'm driving, turn it down, turn it up, turn the station. Um, seems to be working real good there. Uh, it's one three inch hole. I had to pop through. It was nerve wracking. Did it with a hole saw, came out clean, no chips, no nothing. Taped up the hole before I did it, marked it, boom, popped the hole, was done. Um, the speakers are actually mounted underneath the toe kick there on the footrest, and there's actually two of them in there. You can only see the top one, but uh, what I did was mounted them on uh, little pods, so there's no holes in the boat. There's little pods, they're basically like little speaker boxes, and you can get them on eBay. Um, so, and, and they're uh, fastened to the boat with four screws and then the speakers go onto those pods and are, are attached to those pods with more screws. So I have one uh, that's actually attached to the boat and then another one on the angle uh, piece of footrest. So I got one facing this way and another one facing here. So they're basically right up next to each other. 
Um, they sound great, man. This thing goes up to, I think, like 50, volume 50. I've had it up to 40. Sounds awesome. You can hear it when you're running. The only thing with it being underneath the steering wheel like that and in the cubby that I got it mounted is it's a little bit muffled uh, unless you turn it up really loud. Got a solution for that, though. Just ordered a pair of tweeters that I'm going to mount pointing upwards and that'll take care of the problem because I've trial uh, tested it with uh, a little Bluetooth speaker and pointing upwards uh, the, the sound is much more crisp so that's it man speakers in the boat really no holes drilled only one three inch hole for the receiver it looks good looks professional love where it's at uh, wired to the battery got some um, you know fuses inline fuses and I actually wired it to the 12 volt uh, fuse underneath the steering wheel there uh, so I can hit the main power at the steering wheel on and off no power goes to the receiver not draining any battery safe and sound professional so turned out awesome man hey this is what we got don't like my taste of music I'm sorry I listen to it all it's all good hey Phil Limit Fishing baby hope you learned something stay tuned we got more videos coming I'm gonna be on the water jamming Hate to be sounding like a wakeboarder, but sometimes you gotta crank the tunes when the fish ain't biting. Alright, see you next time.